Hi, uh, this is lesson 4.1 E model creation, and we're making the first model. Uh, I don't know what to call it. it. Looks like a little space invader or something like that. I can't zoom to a different sheet because it'll shut off my recording device. So you'll just have to watch me make it. Now, this is a good chance for you to learn some things on Inventor, but also start thinking about additive versus subtractive modeling. So we hit new, not the arrow. Cancel out of this. Don't hit the arrow, then it's, well, I'm, I'm importing CAD files. No, hit new, avoid the arrow whenever you can. Standard inch part, create. And then we're going to make a uh, sketch. And I'm going to show you this one twice. So uh, this is the way I like to do things. Always start from the origin, and I tend to use lines. Um, and I make sure it gets me at 90 degrees, as you can see on the right there in the white box. And then I just go up and I outline this thing, 1.5 enter now it's off screen so if you recall, recall from the first video we just screen out and now we can see what we're doing i come right at 90 degrees again and hard to read but it looks like it's one inch cool and then i go up at 90 degrees again make sure i'm at 90 and i'm going up one inch and then i come over at 90 degrees two inch and so on and so on. Now, the reality is you could do a reflection here. Um, this one is snapping to a point, but I'm still going to type in one because I don't trust it. Um, it's probably easier to build this and then carve it out. But again, it's just another way to do it. And then down. And this one will actually snap to the line for me. So I don't have to type in one. And then we go 0.5 this way, I believe. And then up 0.5, make sure it's at 90 degrees. That's going to cause untold problems. Over 3. And now I think I can just snap the rest. It should just go straight down if I get close. And it does. And then over to here. Okay, now at this point, you might say, well, all right, I'll do this. I'll extrude, I'll whatever. Make sure you've saved. File, save as. And I cannot save. Oh, I'm in part mode. So finish sketch. Remember, it got too big. What do I do? I hit the home button and it puts it all into nice perspective. File, save as. And this is going to take me to a place that I don't want to be. So let's go here and let's just talk a little bit about file management. Uh, this is introduction engineering. So I have a file name that and it's in unit four. And then I have inventor files in here. And I bet I already have this. Well, look, I already did the funky bridge project I just called Space Invader. But I'm going to save it again. 4.1 uh, E. Um, put my initials. So when you lose your flash drive, your teacher can help you and get it back to you. Otherwise, I can't do anything for you. Uh, part 1 Space Invader thing. And then I like to put dates on it. Um, you don't have to, but it's not a bad idea. Uh, 09 dash. 21-2018. Let's see if it'll give me that. It might be mad. Oh, it did. Lucky me. All right. So I did all the hard work, and now I extrude it, and it says extrude it uh, 2.5 inches. If you're wondering where I got all this from, it's actually all written down on a sheet of paper for the assignment, which, again, if I change windows and go over here and click on Word or something, it'll, it'll blow it away. So this is almost done. It also says to do something on this side, and I'm going to show you some tricks. We uh, start a sketch and we say we want to put it on this surface and we're going to extrude something out. Um, and we're going to extrude out a little rectangle. Um, and I could actually place it precisely. I could use things and get there. But we're just going to use dimensioning. This thing is supposed to be 1.5 long. Now I got a problem. It's up there in the corner. So I'm actually going to control Z and undo that. I'm going to do this first. I need to locate it 0.5 over from here. Excuse me, cancel. I do that a lot. Dimension. By the way, when I make that mistake, I right click to cancel out of it. This is supposed to be 0.5. If I don't set that, it's going to be troublesome later. And then, uh, how far down is it? 0.75 from the top. From here to here is 0.75. All right, so that, that really helps me out a lot. All right, that's right clicking, by the way. Here I am. Right click and hit OK. It gets me out of dimension. Double click on this. We want it to be 1.5. Now notice it doesn't run off screen, which helps. And then we need to set the depth. So we'll click on this piece 
and this is supposed to be 0.25. All right. Now you might look at that. And go, oh, look at all those dimensions. It's ugly. That's fine. When you extrude it, everything vanishes. What do I mean by vanish? I mean it vanishes. Everything is consumed. When you do a sketch, everything is consumed. Let's say I put two sketches on this face. And I just want to extrude one of them, but I want to do something else with the other one. Too bad. It's going to get consumed. Let me show you that. I'll show you what I mean. Notice the project browser. I could hit a new sketch, which most people do. We don't want to do that. I want to go back to this sketch. And I'm going to put another rectangle up here. And you know what I wanted to do with this rectangle? Nothing, because I'm not supposed to. But let's say I wanted to make a hole there. And I said, I'll extrude this one out, and then I'll extrude this hole in. So go to extrude and extrude this one out, uh, 0.75, and I hit OK, and I go, now I'm going to, hey, hey, where'd my other rectangle go? It got consumed. Whenever you do something on a surface, on a flat surface, you're done. You've consumed it. It's gone. All right. I'm going to save this. I'm going to make a new one, and I'll show you subtractive modeling. So again, hit File, New, English, Standard, Create, Start a Sketch. I'm just going to make a big old rectangle. Notice the rectangle and the line are what I usually start with. I might use circles and arcs later, but I usually start with this. It is 4 wide and 2.5 high. So, cool. Hit my home button, extrude it, 2.5. Whenever I hesitate, it means I'm looking at my work over here. Nice. Now I need to punch some holes out of it. So we can extrude, make something, we can extrude, cut something. So I'm going to do it here. Now I want to cut the whole thing through so I can make multiple extrusions. You'll probably say, no, no, you just told me I couldn't. I didn't say you couldn't. I said, careful, if you don't use it, it's going to get blown away. That was horrible. Let's try that again. Zoom in, see if we can snap to that corner. I definitely did not snap there. All right, now this one's supposed to be <clears throat> one by one. So one, tab, one, enter. Now we could actually reflect this, but we need a middle line to reflect it, so we're not going to. I zoom in a little bit to make sure I'm snapping right on there. You might get close and not be there and think, oh, I'm there. Not good enough. Cool, and then I need a hole in the bottom. So we'll go with click, and this one, the length is three, and the height is one. And you're probably going, oh my lord, it's off screen, and oh my lord, it's not one, it's 0.5. Yeah, I know. Wish I could say I did that on purpose, but I didn't. And I thought it would snap to the bottom, it didn't. I can actually move this whole thing if I want, snap to the bottom. It's not quite snapping. I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, let's dimension it, see if I can do it that way. Otherwise, I really don't like what I've done here. That to that is 0.04. Now I want it to be zero. It's right on there. And this to this should be 0.5. And it brought it over for me, and we are good to go. So this is what I said before, if I only did one, and I don't want it to extrude out. I want it to cut. And I want it to cut all. What happens to the other two sketches? They were on that surface that get consumed. So let's undo that. Hit Control Z or that. And let's do that same extrusion. All. All. I keep missing. Cut automatically comes up. And grab the other two. Maybe not. Cancel. Extrude. I think once I type them in, they're mad at me. Take that one, that one, there we go. So you got to pick all three at the same time. And then say, hey, now all three of them I want to cut all out. And I hit OK, and there it is. Now I can throw the other piece on if I want, but I don't need to. That's additive and subtractive modeling.